<laughs> what are you going to drive anyway? I said to you, Mum. That's it, man. Welcome back everybody, you join us on our way to Worcester to do some food shopping, go to Wix and also check out Diglas Basin for mooring because we haven't been there before. While we're here we thought we'd check out the River Severn which is extremely high at the moment. Diglas Lock. Yeah. When we're on the Thames. I thought the seven was really bad. Seven. Yeah, it is. But it's not as bad as the Thames was when we were on the red board. Mm. Not quite. This is the uh, lock that takes you out onto the River Seven or off. And we're thinking about just mooring around here because there's some rings here. But as we later found out, this is not a flood safe mooring. It's just no fish there. We can yeah moor there. If no one takes the spot. Hey? If no one takes the spot, get in there. I'm gonna film this Z4 coupe. <laughs> My god, it's beautiful. I prefer it over the roadster, but I also do prefer. It's just absolutely stunning. <laughs> We've just been found by our subscribers in uh, yeah. Audi. This is so crazy. But that dancing didn't last long because moments later, tragedy struck. I thought you were going to drive anyway, I said to you, Mum. I don't know what I'm doing. That's it now. I don't want my shorts cut here, do you? Pretty bad. What's happened then? Well, I was driving up. Yeah. I think someone pulled out on him. He slammed, I slammed, but oh, slammed, yeah. couldn't, couldn't stop in time. That was the end of it. Like it was a low speed crash. Honestly at this point we were just lost for words and completely depressed, me and dad, so <laughs> needless to say there was no talking on the camera being done at this point. But the next day we did come up to assess the damage and it wasn't too bad. 
Both the wings were bent. The bonnet was completely bent and its hinges. The impact bar had been bent and into the radiator, which I can say has caused the radiator to malfunction and it's not working to its full capacity. All right. This is just an oil leak we have as well. See this, the, the rust on that? That's been weakened before in a, a previous yeah. tap. So that's why it's gone. How much water coolant we got? Yeah, we've dropped a little bit here, see? This is my concern. But it's not a lot. What that, what's that, nearly two days? Mm. But when I go along, you're gonna get pressure on that. So I'm gonna have to put some sealant on that, the special sealant stuff it is. What's that? What? That's been impaled into it. Anyway, the next day we were off cruising, trying to take our minds off it. But me and Dad came down with the flu. As you can see, this here is the landslide at Dumhanstead Tunnel, and I can tell you that loads of people don't really care. <laughs> I've seen loads of people try and navigate over that, and it is quite peculiar. I've done it myself. And his Trinity Boats, a independent hire boat company, and they have a pump out there, but I can't see it advertised anywhere that it's a pump out there they would let the public use. But if it is, that would have been annoying because we could have got a pump out there. Right, hello, welcome back. Um, a lot's happened since we last spoke to you. Um, one be thing being a uh, dad crashed a van. I crashed a van. Yeah. I've got a stinking. Partly because I've got a stinking cold. Yeah. I've had so many painkillers because of the cold and my tooth. I can't get to the dentist. He's giving me the cold. <laughs> He's got the cold now. So I crashed the van. I drove into somebody which I've never ever done in yeah. my whole life. So there was definitely something wrong with me that day. Yeah. Um, it's funny because ironically, a couple of seconds earlier, I said, well, "Why is Mum driving back?" <laughs> but the guy I crashed into, Mohi. I'm not sure his exact name, but I think it's Mohi. He didn't even speak to us. He just. Because even a taxi down. driver is used to it, Yeah, and that was it, so... Yeah, well, it might be a write-off. The impact beam is completely bent. The, the radiator, radiator is, is damaged. The radiator is damaged, so I've got to put a new yeah. radiator in it. The, the, the bonnet's completely dented. We might give it over, if we get the money for it and keep it, we'll probably give it over to Steve and let Steve do the work yeah. and sort it out. But we're, we're thinking about getting a double one anyway, because I should have checked in my naiveness. I didn't realise that certain vans at that age were galvanised but that particular Peugeot box they weren't galvanised until 2007 so yeah I've said this on energy before but it's like building a house on a collapsing cliff you know it could just collapse at any moment the rust is getting that bad it's going to cost to repair every single year so it's better off just Instead of spending more money on the rusting van, it's falling to pieces. At least if we get it broke, we can still go away and do stuff in the yeah. meantime. But um, it's also got the gearbox failing and track rod ends going now. Tracking points collapsed. So yeah, and it's got an oil leak. Um, it's a good advert that, because we're going to do it up and sell it. So <laughs> someone will buy it with the work that needs to do on it. Make a good van for but something. We can't afford to refit out another van again. Probably get a Peugeot Boxer. No, what the hell was that? See, Citroen. No, single Renault Master, because they were galvanised in 2004. Um, so that's what we'll probably do. <sighs> but anyway, we're heading down to Worcester today because although it has been raining a few times, the water levels have dropped almost to yellow everywhere. Apart from the three locks down to Worcester, they're still in red. But in the next couple of days, they should drop down to yellow hopefully because otherwise next week we've got loads and loads of rain coming in and it'll go back up to red. So at least if we can get down to the River Seven today, then we can just wait until that goes on yellow and then we head down to Gloucester. But Mum's not here because she's gone taking the van ahead because the lovely people we met in Aldi the other day, Kath and Shane, 
We'll take her for a cruise down the locks. Let's go. Right, as you can see, here is a map of the network of canals in the UK, and we are here on the Birmingham and Worcester Canal. We start today's cruise at Dumhamstead Tunnel, where we head through and down to the Often Log Flight, and through the next few locks, which take us down into Worcester before mooring up, just before the River Severn. Total of 16 locks and 7 miles. The internet must be pretty, pretty bad around here. We're passing through the odd hamlet of Oddingly. <laughs> It was actually recorded as far back as 816 and was recorded in the Doomsday Book. The name derives from the Old English for Woodland Clearing of the Family of Followers. There's actually an interesting murder mystery here. In 1806, Oddingly became known for the unresolved murder of the village parson, George Parker. Parker was shot and beaten to death by a man widely suspected to be Richard Hemming, a carpenter from Droywich. Hemming was never apprehended, and it was believed that he had escaped the country in 1830. A body was found, which was later identified to be Hemming, but no one ever knows it was actually him. We're, we're on new water now. Um, if I'm turned around at Winding on down there, our first, our first try at Winding, it didn't go too bad. Um, yeah, we're on new water. Because last time we came up the Joint Witch Barge Canal, so now we're completing the uh, Worcester and Birmingham. Can I have a deal with this if you want? I used to have a big SpongeBob Teddy just like that, although he was a bit yellower. Mum called me at this point and told me that she was there at the start of the Offerton flight and we were literally just around the corner, so perfect timing really. And she also informed me that a boat is coming up. I don't know Park Town. You couldn't get into that, could you? Yeah. They're parked just there. Oh. So just round the corner. And I got there and they weren't there, but they just walked around, so. Oh no, it's raining! <laughs> Turns out a boat's just coming up, so it's perfect timing. It's great timing. The boat's just coming up this last lock here. And here's our helpers. Can help us through the flight down to Worcester. Here's our helpers, it's yeah. Kath and Shane. Yeah. They, they watched us from the beginning. I think they have watched us from yeah. the beginning. Yeah, they watched us from the beginning. Yeah. And they helped us out when we had the Mazda. Took us to the garage, didn't they? Yeah. And that. So they're very excited, yeah. as you can see, look. Have you ever been for any locks before? No, she's never done yeah. it. Yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> I couldn't find anything about it online, but these locks seem to have no weirs. Oh, they do have weirs, but the weirs seem to pass through the locks. Like, they enter the locks, go inside them, then come out the bottom. And this automatically fills the locks up. Strange. Don't know what it's about. Doesn't matter if you walk in front of it. They've just come out of that lock, so they, they can just come straight in. As you can see, this lock has brand new lock gates too. This was also a winter stoppage, which opened on the 15th of March, just like the one on Tidy Big.
really? This lock gate is 1994 and it's still in really good condition. Now I believe this is because they used to be made out of English oak but at some time near the millennium they switched to French oak which is not as good. So you find that some older lock gates actually last longer than newer ones. As you can see we're now going through the very heart of Worcester full of lots of history and beautiful buildings and the lovely cathedral.
Michelle, can you imagine her on the wash? No. I hope you're on the wash. I'll be on Well, we filled up on water and said our goodbye to Shane and Kath who had to go and pick up the kids from school. We're now going to head down one more lock and more in between the river lock and this lock. And as you can see, the two locks here off the river go onto wide beam because in the basin here you can have wide beam boats. And we're just going to moor here for the foreseeable future until those two locks actually go on yellow but and hopefully we don't get any more rain <laughs> if you know the uk right now you know that's not going to happen we went and took a look at the river and it had it to drop down onto yellow now this is why there there's canoes on there don't do it when you're here oh, we've made it to worcester Dig Diglas. Yeah. Is it Diglas? Diglas, yeah. Diglas basin um we just caught a fish where yeah. Seagull. Sure a bit of bread. There's a little bit of fish. There's a little tiny fish in his mouth. Yeah, well, they come on the surface. <laughs> anyway. But we've had a lovely cruise with Kath and Shane. Thank you very much, guys. Yeah. But then we didn't even have to drive back, then yeah, back to yeah. their car because they, they got were, two They cars. were good. And they were brilliant, yeah. yeah. Shane was like Bionic Man. If you've ever watched that, it <laughs> means he's bionic. He's fast. <laughs> and he bless him. We went mm. back and got another car, so we didn't have to we take hit. him back. I had... Um, I always forget names. I'm sorry, Calf on the back. Uh, calf on the back. But me and Calf hit an underwater object. I think it was a big log or something. And the whole boat went sideways. And yeah. Calf absolutely um, got scared. I'll put it that way. Yeah. In a nice way, not, not a swear way. <coughs> I suppose so. when you're not used to it. Yeah, we're used to it. And we're yeah. used to doing the locks and all that. Hitting sandbanks and mud. It's like basically you know. like hitting something very big under the water. I don't Josh. think it was metal because it didn't grate. But... Josh said you won't be much good over the wash. Yeah. She said no, she'd be in the cabin. Mm. But yeah, we've made it here and um, we're just waiting for the three locks to Gloucester to go on yellow because yeah. all the ones northbound are on yellow now. Mm. But um, Yeah, going that way, you're all right. Yeah, you're we're fine. that way. But below that lock, Diglas lock, um, is still in red, so we have to wait. Hopefully it will go on yellow over the weekend because Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, loads and loads and loads of rain is looks coming like in. looks like it's going to be lots of rain. And it's so. going to just top the river back up. So if we can get down in two days, you know, Saturday or Sunday or, or uh, Sunday or Monday, then um, yeah, we should be able to get down to the Gloucester and Sharpness. Well, you could go halfway with me Sunday and then the other half with yeah. Dad. You've got to be Take careful because there's a lot of flow. Ahead. Yeah, it's still a lot of flow. And the trouble is, when you go down, when you approach a lock, you've got to be able to stop. I know. And you've got no control once I know. that. No. You have to call the lock keepers ahead and tell yeah. them they're coming. Yeah. yeah. Well, As well. We we'll just have to wait and see if it goes. And then down. they can just go straight in. It might continue dropping. Don't yeah, forget, I'm not you can go. have rain. You can have rain come in, but it. But I'm not going to take any. I'm not going to. We're not going to take any risks and go on red balls. So don't worry yeah. about that. Oh no. Not like the Thames. But if, yeah, the if it doesn't go on yellow, then it's going to go slightly back up to red. So we might so, have yeah, to yeah, turn around and go bloody back up. Yeah. So and more than that. Yeah. We'll just stay here. We're just going to get water and yeah. there's a pump out there as well if we need it. Yeah, so we're safe here because we've got water up there. Pump, pump out. out. You can reverse back through. You just turn around. The van's just parked well. down there. So. Um, anyway, thanks for watching. Thanks for watching. Like, <laughs> subscribe and uh, see you next time. <laughs>